Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, we're back here at Giga Texas. It's Friday, the 17th of February. And to be honest, it's extremely cold and extremely windy today. So it made flying conditions very difficult. But I uh, had to alter the flight plan a little bit to take into account the winds and the cold. But I think we got a pretty good uh, uh, video for today with some interesting discoveries. To start off with the introduction and some of the overviews here at that West Main entrance, crews continue to develop that uh, cyber berm and that trapezoidal section right outside of the uh, glass doors. And as you can see, more concrete has been poured here as well. So this area continues to transform. Also, right across the road from this area, as you can see here, that landscape section is getting a kind of like a geotextile membrane put over where they used to have the asphalt. And it's kind of interesting to see what they're doing. Also nearby, as you can see here, they're bringing in more trees and more landscaping for this area. Also where they're doing this excavation in this uh, clearing, which used to be a parking lot as well. So very interesting changes on that west main entrance side of the building. The next thing that I want to talk about briefly with the uh, changes, as you can see here on the south end of the building, the company Naka is continuing to apply that white stain on the concrete and the work is continuing from the east to the west along this south end and as you can see they're right now painting right over those two big entrance ways that go to the stamping two where there's a lot of work going on inside as well so a lot of interesting progress there and the last thing that I want to show you is over on the east side here in that small parking lot that's used for the new car testing and calibration. The solar panel canopies over the superchargers continue to be installed and they now have three main sections completed and they're starting to work on the fourth, working from the north to the south as you can see by that image. Also very close nearby as you can see here that intersection or traffic circle continues to see work and concrete and it's continuing to develop into this very interesting shape and configuration. Now some people have asked if it's really a traffic circle or it's a roundabout or I don't really know for sure. All I can show you is what's in the images as you can see here and I'll let you interpret what you want to with what's going on but it is a very interesting development. Otherwise, a lot more to see in the video today with some developments all over. As mentioned, I had to curtail some of the flight because of the conditions today with the cold and the wind. But otherwise, I hope that you enjoy what you're able to see and what we discuss in the video. I hope that you have a great weekend coming up. It's going to be a long weekend here in the United States with another federal holiday on Monday for President's Day. But uh, otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I do hope you have a great long weekend, especially if you're here in the United States. Take care. A special thank you to all of my outstanding Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high-resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas.
this very cold and windy morning. We'll start off here on the south end, taking a good overview of the entire south end as it looks today. You can see the cyber pond, the material storage with more trailers for contractors here on the south end. And also, as we approach the main building, you'll see on the right-hand side, the southeast corner and now the south end of the building, nearly approaching the midpoint, the company Naka is continuing to apply that white stain, uh, looks almost like a paint on the exterior surface of the concrete walls. And you can clearly see how this looks here. The company is, as I mentioned, Naka. Here is their link. It'll also be in the video description. If you would like to learn more about the stain that is used for this particular application. But as you can see, they are working over at the uh, middle section where the stamping two is located. I also wanted to show you these close-ups here. You can see these wires that kind of trace out the top part of the A of Tesla. I think this is part of that uh, lighting system. Uh, be LED lights, similar to what we see on the cyber berms on the north end. And this will eventually, once completed, light up the Tesla logo on the roof, which should be very interesting to see at night. So I'm looking forward at some point in the future to be able to do a night flight and show you what the roof looks like. But still, they're just beginning the progress here on the south end. But let's uh, continue the our direction towards the north will drop down here on the west side of General Assembly and I want to give you a good view of the work going on with the main entrance changes. On the left hand side you can see that landscape section. We'll get a closer view in a second. And then here you can see all of the crews working on some additional trenching, some preparation for concrete near the base of the walls. Also more concrete has been poured around this central trapezoidal section as you can see more materials uh, looks like it's uh, some rebar and also some uh, uh, possibly some materials for forms on that center uh, section of the trapezoid and you can see how this area is continuing to transform the concrete that they poured now reaches up to the edge of where the cyber berms will be and you can kind of get an idea of how that will look once it's completed um, we'll go ahead and fly up a little bit to the north. I want to show you this clearing section where they also have this excavation. What you see is the crews bringing more of these landscape trees. And you can see where they're being uh, temporarily stored up in this section. And you can also see how this um, landscaping looks around the lift station here in the middle of the screen. But I'll turn back so you can see how this uh, Kind of clearing and the work here is uh, progressing today. So very interesting to see more of these uh, landscape trees uh, arriving in this particular section. I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like when they are completed and everything is uh, planted. As I mentioned, this landscaped section has got something like a geotextile membrane on what used to be the asphalt and now it's got a darker gray look to it rather than the black so it'll be interesting to see what they do here it may be a continuation of what we see over here by the main doors and that trapezoidal section you can also see what looks like maybe a uh, sidewalk right next to the base of the walls uh, being formed as well so anyway, this is the progress on the east main entrance today. So let's proceed down to the south and take a look at what activity is going on down there today. As you can see here, the crews are continuing to uh, work on trenching for the blue water pipe in this particular section, starting to cross over the road. And then here, these crews are from the company Griffin. You can see the links here. This is a dewatering system that they have. And uh, you can see that uh, circular section of the pipes in the middle of that rectangular area, that uh, large red uh, standpipe with the water. And I'll come back and give you a different vantage point and some other information in just a bit. 
But as we get ready to fly over the cyber pond and this uh, contractor trailer, we can see some of these materials that are stored here today. Also get an idea of uh, what this south end looks like. There's some trailers with a lot of rebar. Um, as you can see, some of those in those white kind of bags. And also three more of these uh, trailers that uh, we saw delivered on my previous video. And then we can see a yellow crane that has been arrived and then also a workshop here next to where that white van is located. We also still see some more of the solar panels here on the south end, right by the trees waiting for a movement to the roof. And also you can see just how little bit of the steel materials remain. So let's uh, turn back towards the main building. We'll fly over this uh, south end where the construction will begin at some point in the uh, near future, I hope. And you can also see a little bit of excavation work here where the underground stormwater pipes are located. But also, it makes me wonder that uh, with this dewatering, if that's not what's kind of slowing down the construction at this moment in time. I also wanted to show you this. See these rounded uh, steel components and also the components in those white bags? Over where that uh, round uh, section of the pipes are, it looks like that's going to eventually be installed there. So something to look forward to. I also noticed these three Model Ys, two of red and one in white. They have these large uh, X's on the windscreens. You can also see it looks like at least the uh, white one has been in some sort of an accident. So I'm not sure what exactly happened there, if it was part of a test or if it was just a regular accident. Uh, so anyway, I thought you might find that interesting. So let's continue to progress back towards the east. We can see some of the activity on this temporary uh, platform. We also see some more deliveries here via this truck to the south end where these two doors are for the stamping uh, two and where there's a stamping machine press is being installed there. This also gives you a good view of how the white stain looks like paint on the building is starting to progress. And at the rate they're going, uh, probably by the end of next week, the entire south end will be completed and then we'll see where they go from, from that point. Uh, on the uh, east side here of the stamping machine section, we can see a lot of these components for the AIDA stamping press. Uh, you can see those red trucks kind of in the middle where those white uh, tanks are. There used to be some green and white wrapped large components for the press, and those have all now been moved inside the stamping too. So uh, a lot of progress going on just inside the walls, which we can't see, but uh, it's a necessary part of the production system that will support the Cybertruck. As we continue to work our way to the north on the east side, you can see those two chutes that come down from the uh, windows for the uh, second floor of the body in white and the uh, containers. So those are now being used regularly for some of the uh, debris uh, to come out of that uh, floor of the building where they're doing some more installation of equipment. Uh, I'm going to continue to get closer to this small parking lot, which is kind of used for new vehicle testing, calibration, charging, and uh, where they keep them before they move them over to the new vehicle transportation lot. You can see how many Model Ys are here, quite a bit. On the left-hand side of the screen, you can see that test track uh, as well. And I also wanted to show you the progress with the canopies over the solar panels. In my previous video, I showed you that they were just starting to install the first of the canopies. Now it looks like they're just about finished with the three sections, as you can see here. And they have some more of the columns for the fourth section prepared already. So by the end of today, we may see uh, more of these uh, panels done. In fact, maybe four of them, which would be approximately half of the total amount. But as I uh, move the drone around here, it gives you a really good view of how these look today and also the preparation for yet another panel. I'm going to show you also the work here at this clearing by these receiving doors. You can see a lot of form work has now been prepared and also continue to have some concrete being broken up uh, a little bit closer to the drone, which is very interesting to see. 
that that is going on right now. As I pull back, I'll give you a good view of this intersection, which is probably a traffic circle. You can see some of the formwork and preparation for more concrete and how this is beginning to look. Now, some people say it's a roundabout. Some people say it's a traffic circle. Some people say it's an intersection. I'll let you interpret it how you wish it to be interpreted, but I wanted to give you a view of that today. The new car staging and transportation lot is active again with a good color mix of the Model Ys. There's at least uh, six of the trucks getting ready to load up Model Ys here and uh, take them off site. And uh, this site here continues to be very busy every time I arrive, which is a, a great sign considering the demand for the Model Ys. But uh, let's uh, continue to move further to the northeast. You can see this uh, clearing section where some of the materials are being uh, located now. And this used to be a temporary parking lot uh, and it was uh, kind of carved out of that warehouse on wheels section. Now it looks like they're gonna be using it sta for staging for quite some time. Uh, we can also see this complex with the old house and some of the tree removal that has been going on. And then nearby we see the blue water pipe installation, trenching, and also the black HDPE treated water uh, pipelines. It looks like most of the trenching in this section has now been completed and they're starting to fill it back in while they're doing some more excavation on the left-hand side of the screen in these kind of dirt mounds. As we arrive at the dye shop, we'll take a look at some of the activity up here and also around the battery cathode plant. Because of the high winds and the very cold weather, I have to do kind of a uh, truncated flight here today, but uh, it's still a good view of the entire steel structure, which is almost completed now. The roof beams are almost all completed as well. We just see this one small section remaining and you can see crews working in this area and also on that new bridge crane that we saw installed on my previous video and again this is a dual bridge crane which is a very heavy lift bridge crane and it will be supporting the equipment that will be installed on these uh, pretty substantial foundations that you can see with the formwork now being installed. Unfortunately, the sun makes it just a little bit kind of shadowed in that area, but uh, you can definitely see that the uh, formwork has been installed, so we should see some substantial rebar and uh, some concrete being poured here uh, maybe sometime uh, next week. Also, we can see on the left-hand side that the section, second large section of ground slab has now been poured with concrete, and uh, that is, again, a very thick uh, foundation and slab as well. This galvanized steel structure continues to see quite a bit of work with uh, installation of equipment on the uh, ground floor. You can see that uh, in the middle section the forms have had the concrete poured and the forms removed and we can also see some more equipment just uh, wrapped up in white ready for installation in the near future. As we move our way up towards the north on this uh, west side, you can see that uh, temporary structure that uh, is uh, covering some of the equipment and also some other of the pipes and some of the concrete vaults next to this center dump truck. We can also see some more of the blue water pipe and how the equipment uh, storage here on the north end appears today. So I'll turn back towards the building and the west side so you can get a good idea of how this complex looks today and uh, the progress on both structures is really moving along pretty quickly. As I'll continue to maneuver over towards the east side, I'll have to stay up at a little bit higher altitude today because the winds are just making it very difficult to control the drone. But for even from this vantage point, we can see quite a bit of materials being stockpiled here on the east side, outside of the building. Um, we can also see how the platforms are continuing to be installed in those uh, large, tall sections without the roof, uh, without the wall panels, sorry about that. And also we can see more of these platform materials being stored here on the ground in amongst the crates that are dark and light blue with more equipment as well. 
So let's uh, continue to maneuver our way back over towards the east center section where we see more of the materials being stockpiled here on the uh, east side of this clearing as well as some of these concrete planters in the middle section um, of this uh, clearing. As we continue to maneuver over this old house section, we'll proceed up to the electrical switch yard and we'll take a look at the activity there today. <music> One of the things that I noticed on the south side of the temporary electrical switch yard is these new circuit breakers that have been installed. Those are kind of those V-topped items and those will most likely be installed on the east bay of the new permanent electrical switch yard in and amongst some of the footings that I'll show you in a second. Now the two transformers have been installed onto the pads. You can see quite a bit of uh, materials and parts have been installed as well. The tanks and the uh, cooling structures are for oil and that is used to cool the transformers as they operate. So it looks like that is definitely coming along pretty well. We can see more of the installation of steel components onto the new footings on the uh, East Bay, well, this is divided into three bays running north to south and uh, the one on the east side here where you see the uh, yellow equipment and the drilling is uh, nearing completion now. And what I'm going to show you is where the crews are working and the drilling is going on. They are preparing the fourth of the four footings that will be necessary to install the seventh and final A-frame structure and you can see the A-frames nearby as a idea of how that will look and this bay, the east bay, is what will be part of uh, connecting the electrical switch yard to the Megapack battery electric storage system once that is completed as well. So as we turn back, we can see uh, how this north end looks today. That cylindrical cage of rebar will be for another large steel power pole. And then overall, we can get a good appreciation for how the electrical switch yard is coming along here, uh, just to the northeast of the main factory. Now, as we continue up over the power poles and the power lines, I will bring the drone back down and this is the section where the mega packs will eventually be installed. Also on the left hand side of the screen you can see two sections of that new steel power pole and that will be uh, what is mounted on that rebar cage that we talked about on the north end. I'm going to uh, get a good view at a little bit lower altitude of the main factory and as we approach this intersection you'll see this cyber berm has already been stained white by Naukau the company that is doing the work on the main building as well. And uh, eventually the entire structure will be that same white color all the way around. Um, just giving you a good close view of the north end of the 4680 battery production section of the building with the two platforms to the third and fourth floor. These two doors are where the plastics manufacturing takes place. And then these two platforms is the north end of the paint shop and the materials waiting to be moved inside continue to dwindle because more and more are being moved inside, which is a great sign. As we look at the northeast corner of the casting machine structure, we can see a white body of Model Y. And then here we see a black and a red Model Y body next to these platforms and, uh, uh, that are used for more of the castings. And this gives you a good view inside. These look like they are 2170 variants because they have steel floors. We also see a uh, device here, the gray with the spike sticking up. I believe that's going to be a mount that will be installed inside the building at some point uh, for some additional equipment. And then on the east side, you get a good view of all of the castings that are waiting for movement to the body in white and production of more Model Ys. So that is a good look at a Friday, a very cold, blustery, very windy day today. 
Uh, as I mentioned, uh, it's going to be a long weekend here in the United States, so I hope that you have a great weekend and enjoy the uh, time uh, with your friends and family. As always, I very much appreciate your support and for watching my videos, so thank you very much. Have a great weekend.